<laughs> What's bonking? Are we bonking? What the, what the fuck is bonking, bro? I, have... I, got a, I got a question. I want to go back to Dr. Disrespect. Did, did you expect him to be a PDF file, though? I did not, to be honest. Apparently, he even edited the, the tweet that he sent out like three different times. Because he was trying to find the right words. And it's like, yeah. you can't find the right words to be talking to like an underage person, you know? I don't know. There's way too many YouTubers and, and online creators that are just too comfortable with trying to do this shit, to be honest with you, bro. Yeah. I... Alright, welcome back to some more Persona. Yo, bro. Persona, bro. There we go. So, we're having a different... Um, I guess way to record this. I'm at my house. Eric is off in the dude. Leo is playing the game now, bro. Yes, That's crazy, playing, bro. I'll be playing for this session. Um, I've sent Eric to the Doom Dimension. That's why he sounds weird. Bro, I'm for the ride, just like you guys watching this video, bro. This dude is playing the game now, bro. Yes. So... He took the controller away from me. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Uh, and the last one, we're just living, we're now living our lives as regular students until we meet our next, um, victim for... We're a regular, regular chef and weenie now. Yes, so I think we're gonna go over to hang out with Ryuji. So we're gonna go train out with yeah. Ryuji, and then we're gonna better our... Were we, um, mm -hmm. from what I remember, it's been like a week, we haven't recorded at all, so... Last time I remember the, in the story, we were freaking, uh, we were trying to find, like, another dude that's evil or whatever. Mm hmm Yes. Um, we confirmed that, like, there is a, we made a team name for, like, the th Phantom Thieves. And then, um. The Gotems. Yes, the Gotems. And, and then, what is it? Uh, we're now looking for... Um, another target to get uh, better popularity because of our website. Yes, sir. Whoops. Damn, this dude, this dude is fucking breathing mad heavy, bro. I mean, he he ha he still has that injury, you know. And yeah, but like... he I know he can just walk it off. <laughs> What's bonking? Are we bonking? What the, what the fuck is bonking, bro? I have no idea. <laughs> Yo, it's cool new slang, man. It'll catch on, I, I promise you. <laughs> it's like people still, like, using, like, old terminology. Yeah, bro. Or, like, old The slang. new generation is using, like, Riz and fucking Skibbity and all that bullshit. And old people are like, what is Riz? And back in my day, we used to say, uh, on the flippity side and all that. <laughs> we used to call people get- no, okay. Bro, back then they were they were they were crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. They'd be using all the slurs in the book, and nowadays you get canceled if you say anything for good reason. That that's crazy how like a lot of things have changed, like through these like in the past like thirty years. Mm -hmm. Recent, bro. It's very recent. Yes, it's crazy to think that like thirty years is so recent, you know. I think it's because of the internet, bro. Because the internet has caused a lot of people to more more um exposure to different groups and stuff like that different minorities mm -hmm. so that's why it's caused a, a upsurge of people being more mindful of what they do especially when things go on the internet so fast right your whole life could be ruined mm -hmm. with you saying some dumb shit yeah that's a that's another thing um how like more on on the topic of like you, you know what you said fuck it have you seen what happened to dr disrespect Bro, I was about to bring that up, actually. This dude is dead as a PDF file, bro. Like, why do all these Twitch streamers have to be PDFs? Like, they they can be JPEGs, but they choose not to, bro. I don't understand. That That's something that, like, I even... What is it? I searched up... Uh, Well, like, this is what TikTok, like, sent, right? Which one do you want to do? Wait, wait. You seem conflicted. Yes. You want to do... They're just talking about the fucking team. Yeah. You want to do you seem you seem conflicted i'm gonna be picking for leo yes yeah that was the right response um but yeah like there is this video of how he's an asshole <laughs> which one do you want to 
No, so he's short. Let's do that one. That's more funny. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, but but what, yeah. What about he? The the people. Oh, this guy was like. Uh, first, it starts off as a meme, right? Where it's like this guy, like he's pretty funny on TikTok, where he, like he makes fun of like a lot of like recent stuff. But like he, his joke was like when Twitch streamers or celebrities become uh, get outed out for being like a PDF file, and like <laughs> the joke is like, is this the I like kids convention? <laughs> but, yeah, but then it cuts. But then it cuts to like a guy who talks about the study of you know people who were caught doing it right yeah yeah apparently the people who do become like pdf files it's a sense of uh, like, yes a part of it yes that's one part um where yo, um mm -hmm. say don't worry i got you okay don't worry i got you bro you should yes, do sir. you should do like what is it um one two or three right from top to bottom whenever like okay. there's a thing but um the the what is it uh yeah like it's it's a sense it's a sense of power that they have right because of their their standing of where they are right and it's also another thing where with youtubers right with youtube content creators some people, um, some people, uh, change the, like, their, the thing. Like, they grow, they, they grow with their YouTube channel, right? Like, compared yeah. to, like, a good camp, uh, uh, comparison is, like, Mark, right? The, yeah. When his channel grew and he was also growing, his content changed as well. Because back then, yeah. you know, he was more, like, energetic and, like, whoa, like, in your face type stuff, right? yeah but now since he grew more he has a lot more projects and like he's more i guess you could say adult right yeah um he oh, you're gonna go... I was gonna... okay yeah, yeah that's what i was gonna say yeah he he now like is able like his content changed and like he grew as a person with this with his um channel um so some people don't change their their thing right like if it's broke don't fix it right that type of mentality yeah. uh, but sometimes that does bring an audience that isn't of your age you know yeah i was about to say and especially for like dr disrespect where it is like kids because it's twitch mm -hmm. but like that's where it gets weird because like you're a grown-ass man and you're interacting with like mostly younger younger people, so uh, you gotta exactly. be mindful of something like that. Exactly. When you're you got a following. Exactly. That's that's another thing where like um they said what is it um that sometimes they go into a sense of um the the reason why they're attracted to this type of uh, people is because that they had some form of affliction as a child. That they didn't have that kind of like love or pa like love or respect as a kid and growing up, so it oh. makes them it makes them more interested into into that like set of like um, age group, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. What is the Where, little translation of the phrase? The of third people? one. Fatal woman. Fatal woman. Yeah, bro. Yes, that is Latin, my boy. Easy, bro. That oh, it's French. Easy. Oh, okay. Uh, but, but I mean, that's no excuse, though, bro. Oh no, no, what, no, no. no what, yeah, this doctor disrespect like freaking traumatizes a kid or some shit. No, yeah, yeah. Like that's that's the thing with like the study. Uh, the study wasn't to like uh, pardon the the acts. You know, it was more of just trying to understand the person, bro. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but overall, it's just a sense of like lack of power, um, lack of power, the sense of connection that they didn't have as a ch as a child that they want to give back to that person that they're talking to. Yeah. Or it's a sense of um, introvertedness where 
especially YouTube content creators, they tend to like stay at home, don't interact with other people and are always alone. And it tends to become a sense of like, they can't find a partner. So then they find someone now who already enjoys who they are from their, their community. Like they're kids though, mostly, bro. That's where you gotta be careful, bro. No, it, it's weird, bro. Exactly, but like that's how that's their their thinking and shit. Don't fucking go outside, bro. There's people out here. <gasps> Yo, who that? Oh, oh, is that girl from that one cutscene with the paint pen? Yeah. She wants to join the Gotham's. <laughs> Don't take all my place Um I must say I must say I must say two Not really bro he's just showing Yeah <laughs> That's what I'm saying <gasps> Nah he's cool He's yeah, we murdered him in, in the Shadow Room. We killed him in the Matrix, now he's reformed. <laughs> we killed his avatar in, in the VR chat, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, what is your position? I don't get it. She's the council president. Bruh. Bruh. This girl wants to join so bad, bro. Yeah, bro. She wants to be a stand user now. <laughs> No, 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 be careful, bro. I feel like you got a crush on her, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Damn. We got, Everybody uh... roasts Ryuji, bro, because he's stupid. <laughs> That's like the classic anime trope, you know? Yeah. Um, there's actually... We have uh, the midterms coming up. Bro, we're gonna ace that shit, bro. Easy. Bro, that's another thing. I look, look key. I was talking with uh, Marcos the other day. Like, do you believe that fucking the standardized testing should be a thing required for people, students to, to pass or what? Um, that's actually, I think that it should to be honest because I, I don't think like homework should be a sense of like thing that's needed but I do think standardized testing should be um a thing because it's just it just proves that like you actually are learning or studying for that that thing right yeah because I feel like homework right like you sit for hours on uh, on end to stu like see what like um what the teacher's teaching but then after those long hours you go into a sense of like you know um wait hello yeah i can hear you okay um you go into a sense of like oh like this is um like uh like hours on end and then you have to go back home another extra hours to work on homework right yeah which is good say, practice uh, uh which, say one. One. It's, it's good practice and all right yeah but it's not a sense of like because there's there, it's been proven that people do better on tests when they have where they're not stressed like constantly doing homework yeah so i feel like homework is not shouldn't be a needed thing but studying should be because the people or tests should be because like it proves to like who generally has the dedication to sit down and study everything that they were given rather than 
someone who's able to just repeat the same thing over and over and over again, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. I think, uh, weirdly enough, when I was younger, I thought standardized testing was stupid. I still kind of think that it shouldn't be as stressed as it is now, but I feel like it should still be a thing in place because the less that you get away from it, the dumber that the general population will be once they graduate. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not going to make them... Uh, I think I think school allows people to be, like... It promotes cr critical thinking, well-rounded skills, like, good conversation... Like, they can be good conversationalists as well. Yeah. Once they're done with school and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's not just for, like, learning math, like, to be a critical thinker, but it's also learning English. It's also learning other things as well in life. You know, history, so that people are understand like how how that impacts them today yeah and all that i think all that stuff comes hand in hand mm -hmm. especially if, if you're gonna be like a, a citizen I'm, I'm mainly mainly talking from a united states sort of view because people can be you know well rounded in that case yeah once they grow up and they become adults and all that that's that's where i think it it can come in same thing with the the testing it allows people to like you said, kind of keep up with the material and, you know, see who's paying attention and who's, like, doing well in the class and all that. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like it should be less stressed than how it is now, but I still think it should be a thing in, in place, especially if you want to go for careers that are, like, academic, you know, like, if you want to go to college and all that. Yeah. There's a reason why the SATs are still stressed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's my take on that. Yeah, no, it's... I think so too. Did Marcos get, give his uh, opinion on it? He didn't. Um, we, were, we were discussing like a political ballot question where it was like, should standardized testing be taken off as a requirement for students to graduate or no? Mm -hmm. And we kind of have like a back and forth. Like, I think, I think, I don't remember what Marcos's position was. I think he said that it shouldn't be as stressed. As it is now, but it shouldn't be taken off as a requirement to yeah. graduate. Like it should still be put in place. Mm -hmm. Because once you take it off, then kids are not gonna be incentivized to, to try their hardest or study or anything like that. It's gonna cause a. It's possibly gonna cause a decline, at least, when it comes to IQ when they graduate. Exactly. That's why. I, I feel like. Oh. He's transforming. Yo. Holy shit! It's a fucking Optimus Prime, bro. Yes. <laughs> but yes. That's, that's Bonky right there, bro. <laughs> Bonky. Is that gonna be our our personal term for this channel, Bonkin? That's what you just slogan, bro. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. Like, as standardized testing is like, I feel like a very good way to like, just in general, test um a student's thoughts and stuff uh, you know when i was younger i thought that shit was so stupid because i hated doing it but now i can i can sort of understand the mentality for why it's needed right even if some things are kind of stupid about it mm -hmm. bro where were we we're in the matrix but we're in the subways though yeah okay not paying attention. so um the so the way that thing uh, things work right now, right? Um, yeah. There, since we can't, we since we don't have a big target right now, we find the target of the people. Um, time to bust my moves. Goofy ass line, bro. <laughs> um, yes. The so we have this. Is, we're in mementos, which is what it's called, right? Yeah. Uh, and in mementos it's the heart of it's the desires of uh the people basically of everyone yes it's not empty then for everyone in here uh well right now we're just at the beginning all right we're gonna chill bro i don't want you that way <laughs> Dude, we're like in Back to the Future and like the Matrix combined, bro. Yes. So, okay. 
now we're in mementos and we're able to basically just drive everywhere where are we um i know we got like a lead to some place is it like someone specific or is it just a go like what are we doing actually so right now we're just searching mementos basically um we're just uh looking around uh okay in it so you know about that website right uh the phantom yeah. thieves or whatever oh here we go oh, uh this is one person oh shit. no this is one per this is a shadow's desire basically oh shit. yes so that's one thing cool about um the like say you know how like if you don't get like a persona from the first palace yeah you'll be able to get another another person like that persona in in this level basically oh, okay uh so mementos is basically dungeon dungeon crawling right now oh okay and, and yes uh we're just gonna go follow my attack so like if we're not uh high a high enough level for the next uh palace we'll, we're able to come here to just train basically or even get more personas all right, so we're chilling for right now, basically. Exactly. And um, I forgot the question that you asked, like, why we're here. Oh, yeah. In the website, it, they ask for, like, oh, like, what can the can the Phantom Thieves help you and stuff like that, right? And yeah. in this, in Mementos, we're able to find people's, like, basically, like, shadow selves. And it's our job to go in there and kill them. Alright, we'll be alright then. We're, yeah. we're gonna avenge all the people's uh, dark desires. Yes. And that's another that thing. Can't. Like the per the shadows in mementos are a lot weaker than they are in the palaces when you first meet them. Yo, I got a I got a question. I want to go back to Doctor Disrespect. Did, did you expect them to be a PDF file though? I did not, to be honest. At first, I was like, bro, this could be. Like, if the, the first thing I got from it was, like, oh, like, this person, it's like, Dr. Uh, like, I saw it's like, Dr. Disrespect, or, like, Twitch just revealed that Dr. Disrespect is, like, hiding something, or they were hiding Dr. Disrespect's, like, um, whole thing, right? Yeah. And I was, like, damn, that's crazy to think, right? Or, yeah. like, so I was, like, okay, that maybe, maybe this is just more propaganda, you know? Um, yeah. But then sooner or later, like more and more people started talking about it. More and more people started like giving their thoughts on this and stuff. And then eventually, like this dude, um, what is admitted it? it? Yeah, he admitted it. And it was like, are you fucking serious? Apparently, he even edited the the tweet that he sent out like three different times because he was trying to find the right words. And it's like yeah. you can't find the right words to be talking to like an underage person you know i don't know the full story did he know he knew that they were he knew young. he knew right? that yeah he knew that the girl was underage and yeah so that's that's pretty weird bro yeah um dr disrespect man he was disrespecting in the toilets now he's disrespecting everybody out here and it's and it's crazy because it's like I don't know, like, I don't know what, like, what insensitized to want to, like, talk to someone that, you know? I think he was thinking with his, like, bottom side, bro. I'll just say that. I think I think he had that on his mind, bro. That's what caused him to, to <sighs> go for it. Like, he probably thought it was an easy target. Mm -hmm. But, like... Even well, even myself, but, like I even try to avoid like anybody's like. This guy just turned into mouth, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's just it was just overall it was just a really weird like um thing that he you know revealed. Yeah. Yeah, he's weak to zero. That's the first time I've ever seen someone actually like admit at least to what they're doing is wrong they always try to like avoid trying to like be like no you know you, yeah the, those youtube sites you know youtube apologies were the like guys 
I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry, guys. I did not mean to do that. I did not know. I was young. I was stupid. I'm so sorry, boys. I did not mean to do that type shit. Can, can we get a? Can we get an F in the chat, boy? Sorry, boys. This is valid in the chat. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just overall. It's just it's just a very weird situation that he's in. There's way too many YouTubers and, and online creators that are just too. You're way too um, comfortable with trying to do this shit, to be honest with you, bro. Yeah. I, I don't I don't understand, bro. Like, you have a following. You're famous, bro. Especially in this day and age. How the fuck don't you think that you're gonna, eventually going to get caught up with this shit? I just don't understand why they even engage in the first place. It's not even just but that. I guess too. it's like you... It's, it's the fact that, like... What is it? Twitch hit, uh, hit it. Because this happened a while ago. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not surprised to be honest with you. I mean, we've already talked about how Twitch is kind of like, uh, when it comes to how they run the platform. So yeah, they're very biased, to especially to like. Okay, well, like, if if you're you're a top streamer, they're going to like protect you. They're gonna zug you. Yeah, look what like it's the same thing with like Pokemon and stuff. Yeah, but I mean, Pokemon never did anything like illegal like she's just no. annoying yeah she never did anything illegal but uh which one do you want uh is he, he couldn't stop obsessing over the girl uh that he was stalking he was a stalker uh, i don't know just and, say which person okay it's probably not gonna say nothing but um no, yeah, Pokemon is annoying because, but like, that's another thing. She was never held accountable for her actions, basically. Because people would post like stuff about like, oh, her content is like mediocre and stuff, or like she could do something better and stuff, right? Yeah. And she took it as a sense of like, oh, this is sexism. Or like, where like a woman can't be this or that, right? Yeah. There are some, I will admit that there are some jackasses who are just trying to be like, edgy were like oh like she's a girl or whatever and like that's why she has so many like viewers and stuff like that right but yeah. like i think that that that's not the mentality that's it's like if she worked hard to get her following she got her following right yeah um but like she you she had enough power to like sit like take down a person's like I, i've already i've always like bring this up with like Pokemon, but like her past is just like terrible because she took down a person's sponsorship because she was like, oh, so like, should people like, you know, like, should a sponsorship be like following this person who's berating me? And it's like, he wasn't berate, like, the person wasn't berating you. Like, he was just giving his own opinion about like your content, you know, which everybody sh has the freedom to do. If someone if like saw our content and said that like, we were like fucking boring as hell, that's perfectly fine. I don't give a shit still gonna post my stuff and see like if we can better you know because it shows like that person has an opinion we should listen to it and if it's not a sense of like berating right where it's like they're just saying like oh you're just complete garbage you know like no cr constructive criticism i feel like we should have listened to it but if there's an actual criticism of what can be better then i feel like you should listen you know yeah if there's some dumbass shit where they don't say anything of substance i, I ignore it exactly I feel like that's what she should have done because there's millions of people who, um, I think, who just have something to say on the internet, you know? I think like these us. people like her who get mad at this stuff, they do it for like mostly clicks and views because when you say something that's outrageous, like he's being sexist, that's more exciting than, oh, all right, that person is just, you know, just jumped up. I don't no, like that I'm person with that type of shit, yeah. you know? That's what I think, though. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah, no, Twitch has a has a history of uh, protecting maybe their their top yeah. Twitch streamers. So I'm not surprised that they hit the thing with the Doctor Disrespect. Mm -hmm. But they should be fucking sued for that shit because that shit is literally criminal, bro. It is, yeah, because it's like you're protecting a a predator, you know. And I feel like yeah. they're not. I feel like they're not getting sued because they came out with it because if they kept having it silent right they kept being quiet about it um and then later it got revealed that they were like that he was one right 
Yeah. I feel like it would have been worse on them. Mm. Because it'll show that like, oh, they generally do not care about the safety of the of like their viewers and stuff like that. Yeah. It was a really bad position to be in. Mm -hmm. But they could argue it's just one guy helping Dr. Disrespect and not the whole company yeah. type shit. Mm -hmm. Why is he so scared of trains? We're on the train tracks, that's why. Bro, they'll be aight. Yeah, basically, are, the train, like, this is trying to symbolize, like, what, how, like, the mementos is to the people, where, like, people were brought to the, to the, each level of this place, um, through the train system, you know? Okay. It was just pure darkness and all that stuff. So this is, like, all the sins and shit of the people or whatever? Not sins, but it, their desires, basically. The desire to be in love with one person, the desire to want to like be powerful or famous and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Mementos takes all that and like stores it, and then the shadows feed on it, basically. Oh, okay. Making them more evil and shit, basically as time goes on. I wouldn't say evil, but it just makes them more basically powerful, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I just died. <laughs> Dude, no new area of the matrix yes. unlocked. What do you mean? Yeah, bro, come on now. No, we were just trying to. What is it? He was just oh. trying to show us like how mementos works, and we gotta go down, bro. We have a whole Saturday. What are we gonna do? What do you mean Saturday? We had school on Saturday. Side though, we got after school. Oh shit, bro! It's fucking. Looks like near from from uh, Death Note, bro. <laughs> Little boy just trying to eat, his, uh, drink his lemonade. Yes, his lemonade out, made out of flowers. Yeah, this this dude's a robot. What's up with their ears, bro? Ew, oh, why'd you have to mention the ears? Now I can't unsee it, bro. Bro, why is it like that? I never, good, I never noticed, I never noticed his you ears. You never noticed the ears, bro? No. That's the first thing I noticed, bro. I did not notice his ears. I just always saw his eyes and, like, uh, his hair. I never noticed bro, you played this game for, like, 2,000 years. How did you not see his ears? Because it was never something that I didn't, like, mentioned or, like, thought. Like, because it's what? the way his eyes and hair, like, generally. Why is like, his ear like that, bro? I don't know. That's, that's it looks like a Cheerio. To say, bro. He probably he probably has something. We shouldn't judge people's ears like that. It looks like a Cheerio. That's my bad. What? It looks like Cheerios. It's a Cheerio ear. <laughs> He's got that Cheerio ear syndrome. <laughs> His name is Jose too, bro. Yeah. He's, he's Latino, bro. <laughs> he's a white ass Latino. Yeah. That's like the first like non-Japanese name I've seen in this game, bro. Jose? Jose of all days, bro? I thought his name would be like Alex or some shit. <laughs> Actually, no. Anne, Anne is kind of a Western name. Well, she... Yeah. We'll, we'll learn more about her story once we hang out with her. He's actually white. I'm guessing she's a, she's a Asian, bro. We'll see. We'll see. She looks a little Asian ish actually. She got blue eyes too, bro. No, bro. No. Uh, Morgana wants to go with the uh, Ann, bro. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so sorry for him, bro. 
Yes, sir. All right. We do it for the goodwill, not for the reward. Yes. Blood. That is true. Damn. I think Morgana, Mor Morgana just pissed off because now they're gonna get a second like little like mask off for the team, and Morgana feels threatened now. Yeah. Because he's not gonna be the only one. <laughs> exactly. Thanks, man. I'm gonna say he's gone, bro. I can't tell you how to see me. Just a cage of bones. There's nothing inside. What if Jose, Jose is actually Igor's son? <laughs> Gifto. All right. Um, what would that be? Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Yeah, the thing is, I picked up something strange while I was exploring earlier. Here it is. Pulls out a gun and like shoots it in the head. <laughs> oh, snap! It's time. It, we're close to to getting something new. It's gonna be sick. We got a whole star though. No, I know, but like it, it'll it'll be it'll be awesome. Nah, bro. Because it's something new. Mario Galaxy. This is Persona Five, bro. Yes, it's a sign of our Five friendship. Of friendship. We're yeah. Nakamas now. Yeah. Okay, so this is oh, this shit, that good. kid is also part of the Royale um content. Oh, so he's a new guy. Yeah. He wasn't in the original. Um, oh, okay. So it's we're basically gonna get um, a really powerful attack soon. Okay. Uh, because of this thing, but like we'll unlock it later on. Okay. Yes. Well, I guess that's it for today, bro. Yeah. Nah, I don't either, bro. It's the wall. It's the wall that Trump made. We're gonna build the wall. It's gonna be in Japan. It's gonna be in the Matrix of Japan. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> bro, Morgana is... He, he needs to know, man. Yes. No matter what. Moments of cold. Nothing left to be found. A mirror right in front of me. That's where I found. An empty glass. Reflecting that's a true. Yeah, friendship. What do you think? Uh, I think it's a girl, bro. Look, bro, the voice. Oh my bad, we missed gender, bro. Dude, I've t uh, Eric, I've been telling you this since the beginning of the game. It's a boy. Bro, but it just gives me a girl vibe. I ain't gonna cat. Right? I don't see it. Bro, I'm that's literally the same thing that you could say with um with Kid Goku. Yeah, but Kid Goku is a kid, though. He's a kid. 
Yeah, it's it, a lot of kids still have like really high pitched voices. But I don't see I don't see kid with this one though. Like seems so wise and like no stuff. So I would think girl. I think you're just generalizing. I think you was zucking. That's what I think. <laughs> I gotta stay. Right, oh we, my god. We can go to. Uh, we can go to. Whoa, what the fuck? We gotta stop her. Yo, it's light. Light Yagami. He's about to whip out the death note. Yes. <laughs> Alright. We'll, we'll continue this in the next one. Bruh. Oh my god, dude.